Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. As you can see, here I have the iPad Pro in one version here on my left, Tab S8 here in the middle, and the S22 Ultra here on my right. In this video, I'll be primarily focusing on testing the performance of the Tab S8 that is equipped with the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Now, before you ask and question why I didn't pick up the Ultra model, again, I'm merely testing performance and all three Tab S8 models share the same performance. Anyways, my main goal is to answer some of your questions and see if the Tab S8 series actually has a better processor than the S22 Ultra. Will size and better heat dissipation truly unlock the full power of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor? I guess we'll soon find out. Now as for this iPad Pro, this is mainly for reference and those curious on the performance differences between both of these tablet devices. With that being said, let's start with Geekbench 5 and test the CPU performance. Now, as we look at these results, I'm quite surprised to see the S22 Ultra performing slightly better in multi-core scores despite having a smaller form factor. Now for the single core scores, due to the small difference, I'd say both the Tab S8 and S22 Ultra are relatively the same. As for the iPad Pro, the scores speak for themselves. This device here is in a league of its own. Anyways, moving on to our last test. Here we'll use 3 Mark Wildlife to test the GPU performance for each of these devices. Now for these results, here we can see the Tab S8 pull ahead of the S22 Ultra when looking at the lowest loop scores. Now one may ask, what does this mean? Basically, the S22 Ultra is still ahead in peak performance, but the Tab S8 wins in sustained performance as the lowest loop scores reflect this area. Sustained performance is definitely better than peak performance as games or rendering long 4K videos rely more on sustained performance. Now as for the iPad Pro, again, this device is in a league of its own. In conclusion, the Tab S8 series has an inferior CPU performance compared to the S22 Ultra, but wins in the GPU department, specifically when looking at sustained performance. Again, this translates to gaming and graphic intensive work like video editing and rendering. Now, I do understand that benchmarks don't always tell the full story, therefore, I will be doing some gaming tests and comparisons between these devices. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you all next time.